Commander. See you, Commander. Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people I always sneaking. expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. 
Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. Charles Saraceno says he is pleased to see terra firma gaining seats in the recent parliamentary elections. He promises continuing pro-human changes. The colony of Mindoir has won the right to use Commander Shepard's likeness on its colonial seal. The Commander's family was killed in a slaver attack, but Shepard has maintained ties to the colony. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shinashi. The Tyrian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Tyrian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. A council inquiry has concluded that a combat BI that went rogue on Luna was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the BI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. Alliance officials have secured a valuable mining facility on Nonuel. The base had once belonged to a criminal warlord known only as Darius. After Darius died several years ago, a number of factions tried and failed to claim the mining center. Biomedical 
firm Serta Foundation is reporting a medical breakthrough against a new strain of interspecies influenza. The development comes as a result of samples contaminated during a biotic attack on their research center two years ago. Fortunately, there were few casualties. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. The Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain Council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Commander Shepard. He uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here? and we call it done. Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. 
Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zikira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. You should kill them all. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. This gladness is a thief. And I want. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. 
returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there is someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're a shepherd, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. This might be useful. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the Immuno Booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. That's all for now. Thank you for using a... You know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the... Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omgel converter. It said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then you said go to the warehouse. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. We can use this. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. 
All I heard Varana say was, pick up a module. The Kane and Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. Alenko, a graduate of the controversial Biotic Acclimation and Temperance Training Project, sacrificed his life to help stop Saren on her mother. I wonder what a Presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish in here. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like c -Sec, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation but an experience. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits! Shepard, in my store! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. I'll take it. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has a lot of million players. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. 
But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. The Laia sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian warrior drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the condo. They're coming in very nicely. Will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Vitarian ale, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh yeah, but more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal.
ruffled some feathers and has no plans to stop. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... Unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil, or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Counselor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along? 
Or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. So long, counselor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I think it would be best if I kept my distance. Strictly for appearances, of course. What an ass. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you, but if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now?
good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs Outlets are owned by the Council Government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a Spectre. That is quite a prestigious role. It is my pleasure to extend the government employee discount to you, Spectre. Please, feel free to check the updated prices. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. This is depressing. How about we find a Tory to beat the crap out of That always makes you feel better. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the cinema. Wasted lights and what the I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15-centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. 